Jagernauts, it is Jager or Jay, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Season 2 of Crazy Craft once again today, guys. Now, if you did miss last episode, you would have missed me getting this awesome, awesome superhero in Deadpool. He is a really, really sick superhero, so at the moment we have Hawkeye, uh, Beast, and Groot all backing up as backups or retirement I guess so they we're, we're getting a few superheroes ticked off the list which is really really good but the reason I wanted to make blood uh, blood pool uh, Deadpool is so that I could start working on the blood magic mod a little bit more and also get uh, make turn this tier 1 blood altar into like a tier 3 possibly even a tier 4 by the end of today's episode it could be a little bit of work but that is the plan for today as well as setting up a little bit of a new farm which I've been meaning to set up for uh, quite some time now to be quite honest it has been a while I've been wanting to set this up but I just have not got around to it so I do want to capitalize on my time today and make sure I can finish uh, the project I should have started uh, a while back so I'm just gonna we're just gonna make some fences and that way we can probably should have kept some of that eucalyptus wood um, but YOLO we can we can make we can mine, we can cut down some more trees if we need it um, but yeah something we started working on a while back I honestly don't know how many fences I'm gonna need let's just make uh, not that amount that's a weird amount let's just make that yep okay that's fine uh, and we'll have and hopefully an even number left over good we got an even number let's just make Let's just make them all. I don't know. I think we should. I think I think we might be a little bit eager making them all. But I do want to set up a new farm, which I should have done a while ago. But I'm getting around to it now. It is the Enchanted Golden Apple Cow Farm. So that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, but I just got to find where I put it. I got to find where I put the Ancient Dried Golden Enchanted Golden Apple Cow Spawner, is that it? Ancient dried golden apple cow spawn egg. There we go. I found it eventually. Um, so I do need to also go and get a bucket of water. Now I know I have some buckets around here somewhere. Um, but as you can see, I still have not had time to organize these chests, which really should be the first priority because at the moment it is just an absolute mess. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a it's like a pigsty. Um, whatever that's whatever the reason for that saying, it is like a pigsty. Like if your parents have ever said your room is a pigsty, then that is what my chest look like. Now why didn't I bring more buckets? That was kind of silly. But oh well, we'll have to do it slowly. And then we are done. So we got four enchanted golden apple. Okay, that's not the gold. That's not the enchanted one. Where's the enchanted one? Did I completely read that wrong? I swear that was an enchanted one. But anyway, I probably there it is. I did read it wrong. What a rookie. What a rookie. Now you guys were probably yelling at the screen being like, can you even read? Which I do want to apologize for uh, because I know that when someone makes a mistake on a video game, it is very, very frustrating, especially one, something they should know or something that uh, you would expect them to know because either you know or it's just very, very simple. Um, so I do apologize for that because I have being frustrated with that exact thing in the past while watching a video so I want to apologize about that because that was a very very rookie mistake but anyway hopefully I don't make any hopefully I don't make too many of those um, but where should we go put the enchanted golden apple farm probably over here next to the Easter bunnies we'll make like our farm area over here let's go chuck these in there uh, in with the hoppers and in with the hoppers or the bunny rabbits or the hoppers could be used to explain both of them what was that I don't even know um, uh, yeah, here's like a little nice open area for some, for some, uh, for some cows. So I guess we'll, we'll plant this here. We'll just quickly uh, make a nice little area for them and then we'll be all good. So, uh, will I have enough fence? Oh, it's a nice little touch of pink fence uh, for it. That's a bit of a waste, but yeah, it's a nice little touch for that's why this is such a weird uh, barn or paddock whatever you want to call it it's gonna be so weird I'm all over the place with my placing um, but anyway let's go out here a little bit and that was you stupid and you make me miss uh, sure let's just go with that and I will have to come up with a way to get out actually can I jump over no I can't well I can fly I can fly out that's probably the easiest way uh, so let's spawn them in enchanted golden apple cows I'm also Gonna give you a variation of golden apple cows in here as well. And look at that. Look at that, he's got a hat. I really want that hat, but I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna kill him. We need to breed them. Now I don't have any wheat, nor do I think I have, 
I mean, I could easily grow wheat. It's the simplest thing to grow with plant seeds. Um, but I honestly don't think I have any seeds. So, uh, can we can we possibly get some seeds? Okay, there we go. One seed. Well, we can chicken chest that. So that is useful. I can't believe that. that should, we, we just broke a whole bunch of grass and only got one seed out of that. But we can make a... We can chicken chest the seeds, which is a good thing. I'm not going to go ahead and make the farm right now, but at least I know I can make it if I need to. I'm sure I would have had some wheat some here. I got a hoe, which is good. I picked that from a stone hoe from a lucky block. Um, but no, does not look like I have any wheat. That is fine. I can grow it myself. I'm a good farmer, as we can see. We've got a cotton farm growing over here. Um, but now I want to go. I want to get straight underway with the blood magic mod i want to try uh well i obviously want to make that a bit better as you guys may have noticed i moved the xp farm or the xp uh drain tanks over here um just because i've got something planned for that spot there i removed that little structure whatever it was that was there and i've placed that there because it just looks 10 times better there than right here in my in my line of sight in my vision in my walking path whatever you want to call it it was just very very inconvenient there so we now have it over there in a more convenient location anyway i want to i need to make this thing here called the blood rune now it is pretty simple to make however i do need to uh do a few tedious grindy things but i think i was yep i did go ahead and make a bit of coal uh, a bit of coal a bit of stone uh so we can easily just go ahead and make that that should be plenty i figured i figured that would be plenty um so let's go we need to we need to fly over here um let's turn these into some slates what are they called they're not imbued slates i'm too advanced for this rookie stuff i think well i probably shouldn't say that just because i'll possibly make some mistakes but a blank slate that's the one that's the word i'm looking for and i should probably go back over and grab my finger pricker uh, my finger pricker not my finger pricker my um uh, what's it called sacrificial knife finger pricker same thing look it literally says just a prick of the just a prick of the finger will suffice so it literally says it but uh i'm calling it a finger pricker um okay there we go there's one uh so we need to do this there's one so we need to go a second one and then i think we will need to prick our finger a little bit but as you can see uh, well, not with me in Blaze form, but as you can see, the reason why we made uh, Deadpool is because he has that ultimate regen, and it just makes... Uh, come on, I'm just trying to get... Oh my god. I'm just trying to uh, get the, the blank slate out. But as you can see, it makes life a whole bunch easier when doing the Blood Magic mod because it allows us to not drop any hearts or not lose any life, pretty much, um, whilst at the same time filling up the Blood Altar to its maximum capacity so it works out it works out really well really really well it's very very convenient um honestly these things are quite annoying and frustrating to make so what i'm thinking about doing we'll make two because as as i just as i've just done i've made enough to make two and we'll make one more for good luck so we can chicken chest it in the future um but i'm just gonna go over there and chicken chest it because you guys probably don't want to see me standing here and just placing things in the blood altar over and over again. It is a lot more fun when I can just chicken chest and get the ball, the ball, get the ball rolling. Um, because yeah, as I, as as everyone knows, uh, no one likes to uh, be bored. No one likes to be bored, so no one wants to watch me place things in a blood altar for 10, 15 minutes, however long it would take to make him. So let's just make. Uh, we only need four, so let's just make. Let's just grab the four. We've got 36, we got thir actually, let's just, no, right, we'll make, we'll make two, we'll make two and we'll keep 36 for good luck, uh, so we'll grab the weak blood orb, and we are all ready, so we need to go, uh, there they are, they're very hard to see in my inventory, but there they are, uh, Mr. Ant, please, please stop, please don't do that right now, I'm trying to craft, I just want to craft this, please, blood runes, there we go, uh, we've got four, two blood runes, go away please, uh, two blood runes, so that is, not all we need, however, seeing as I have the chicken chest, you know, you know how the story goes. You give the man a fish, make the man a chicken chest. <laughs> I don't know. There is a proper saying. It's like, teach a man to fish. No, sorry. Give a man a fish, he can eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he can eat forever or something. So that's kind of what I was going on, but just relating it to the chicken chest, which is like chicken chest is love, chicken chest is life. But anyway, we can now go over here. We'll fly over there. We can now go over here and make our blood altar into 
a tier two blood blood a tier, yeah tier two blood altar. So all you have to do is surround it in a blood rune, uh, just like that. The one in the middle does not have to be. And I believe if I was if I thought ahead and brought my divination sigil over here, which I did not do, but if I can grab the divination sigil out, we can go check. And I believe that this is now a tier two blood altar. And I would love to make a tier 3, yeah, tier 2, capacity 10,000 life points, current capacity 8,000. So that is awesome. That is a tier 2 blood altar, which we do actually, I do actually want, uh, I do actually need in order to make something, uh, in order to make the next step, or in order to, 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 to do the next step. Um, so I need to make something called a master ritual stone. This one here, which I need a magician's, wait, maybe I don't need the master. Maybe that's a lie. Maybe I don't need the master. Oh wait, no. I think I do. And the magician's... Alright, let's just check it out. The magician's blood orb requires a tier 3 and it requires 20, 20, 25,000 life points. Um, and it also requires a block of coal. A block of... Uh, a block of gold. So I have the block of gold. I have... I could make the life points, but I don't have a tier 3 blood altar. So I think I need to make a ritual in order... No! Sorry, that's a lie. That is a lie. I just remembered. I'm thinking about the tier four blood altar. I'm, uh, oh, I'm not even up to that stage yet. I just need to make a tier three blood altar, um, which I can actually do. And in order to do that, I'm going to show you how to make that. Tier three is quite simple, but in order to make a tier four, I will need to do a different ritual. But anyway, we can make this one here. So that, oh, why did I think that was going to break so easily? Um, that is how we make it. So there we go, we just got to surround it like this, uh, like so, we got to go around the blood altar. I hope I have enough uh, of these blood runes, but I think I should. Uh, around the blood altar, leaving a one block gap in between, and then obviously one below, this, one below where this one was. And we are not quite a tier 2 blood altar just yet, I do need one final, uh, well technically four final blocks in order to make it work, but I'm not sure, yes, I will be able to do it. The chicken chest, the chicken chest is life, I'm telling you guys. We can just chicken chest it and do exactly what I need. So I need to go, where is that, where is it, here it is, uh, we need to make four, uh, let's just chicken chest it one more time so we have some backup, uh, let's, well backup, uh, not backup, but we have some leftovers, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, so yeah, instead of having to go all the way to the nether and all the way back, seeing as I'm trying to do this series as quickly as possible, this thing is like my best friend, which probably is a little bit boring at times, but then then again, I see in the comments section, why are you not using your chicken chest? You made it for a reason, so I don't know, I don't, know, don't really know which way to go, but I do enjoy the chicken chest and a lot of you guys do as well, so obviously I'm gonna make you guys happy and use the chicken chest for as long as it takes, uh, well, until you guys get bored, I guess. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, but I kind of want to grab out an item that I probably shouldn't use, um, but I really want to use. I really shouldn't use this um, on the on the blood altar, but I kind of really want to. I know it's a technically it's a superhero, uh, it's a superhero uh, uh, resource that we use for in in order to make. Uh, Hawkeye, which really has no correlation to the Blood Altar. However, I want to use it because I think it will look cool. Uh, now that I see it, it actually looks really, really bad. Um, but we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with it. It looks really, really bad. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm gonna use it anyway. So let's grab that out. So let's grab the Glowstone and let's make this a Tier Three Blood Altar. I believe. That is everything we needed. So if I right click on this now, this should be a tier three blood altar. And it is, bada bing, bada boom, we did that. So that's a tier three blood altar, which is awesome. Now in order to make a tier three blood altar, I have to go and do a ritual. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So uh, I need, that's right, I need to go and make the magician's blood orb. So I really should think about things in advance so I can keep bringing them over here instead of having to run back and forth. But anyway, let's just let's just go ahead and do it. We've got one block of gold. We're going to need the sacrificial knife. Uh, and we got that. And that's pretty much all we need, I think. In order just to make... In order just to make this, that's all we're going to need. So let's put this in here. It's going to take 25,000 life points. Seeing as this is only a 10,000 life points capacity 
uh, Blood Altar, we're going to have to prick our finger a whole bunch. So that is where Deadpool comes in handy again. Because I don't need to go ahead and eat myself golden apples like silly. I do have them and I will get some access to them as soon as the, the cows... Oh no. Have I... Did I... Oh, have they despawned? If they've despawned... You guys are probably probably yelling at, at me in the comments section. Um, if they've despawned, then I have failed all of us. But I feel like I feel like they should still be there. I haven't really left this chunk or anything. All I've been doing is running back and forth, and those birds are very, 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 very loud. Where are they? Can't even see them. And is that seriously not 25,000 life points? I guess not. Yeah, I need to go over there and make sure I ha still have some cows because. Unless I have some cow and enchanted golden apple cows that the Easter bunnies have laid. There we go, the magician's blood orb. Um, unless, yeah, unless the unless the Easter bunnies have laid some magicians, not magician's blood orb. Um, unless they have laid some enchanted golden apple cows in here, I may be fresh out of luck. There's some Easter bunnies. Um, 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 um can you guys see any? I don't see any. Kind of vaguely remember what it looks like, and it's all colourful. That's just a normal golden apple cow. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh, we may have, we may have lost. Oh, they're still here. We haven't lost. We are still winning. Okay, that is good news. Now that I think about it, I'm going to zookeeper shard them so that they don't, uh, so that they don't ever despawn because that would be very, very inconvenient considering I just had a look in the in the in the in the chest in the in the chest where the Easter bunnies lay lay their goodness and there was there was no sign there was sorry there was no sign of um, any enchanted golden apple cows so we're just gonna get enough so that we can enchant these guys and I'm gonna not enchant these guys zookeeper shard these guys so that they can never get away and I want to keep an ostrich no uh, not an ostrich a cassowary. I always call them ostriches. Ostriches for some reason. Um, a cassowary. Um, so that they would. That guy would never leave. His friends may come and go, but he can always stay with Jager and with the Jagernauts. So uh, we now have a. We kind of have a convenience uh, and lifetime pet, as well as all the other pets. I think I started with you. Yep, I guess so. But one for good luck. Please get out of the floor there. I didn't mean to push you in the floor. Oh well, you're just a normal golden apple cow. You're just a normal golden apple cow. You're not an enchanted one, so we can, we can just leave him be for now. He should get out of there, but if he doesn't, then no love lost. <laughs> That's terrible. That's a terrible, terrible thing to say. What did I just put away? Seriously though, what did I just put away? What was in this spot here? Oh, that. That's right. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what? What am I doing right now? Anyway. I need to look at making, uh, what is it called, a, let's just look at the blood, the blood magic mod, I need to, this thing here, the ritual of the full springs, I think that is the first one, can it do dusk stones, cannot place dusk stones, so this is the first one, so it does take quite a lot of resources, I completely, f oh, I completely forgot how much it takes, and I also need magma cream, oh, this is a bit of stuff that I don't have. I do have obsidian, so that's fine. These ants are very, very frustrating. A gas tier, I don't believe I have that, so I'll have to go looking for it. And a block of lapis, I do have, so I don't have to go looking for that. Um, but yeah, there's a few things there that I do not have, I do not have with me, unfortunately. So maybe today, we're gonna have to end it up there. A Little bit of a shorter episode, I know guys, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately it's close to Christmas. And as I said, I'm very, very busy at this time. Um, not, a, not an excuse, just a bit of reasoning, um, but don't worry guys, I have done two in a row and I'm going to try and do a third one again tomorrow because Crazy Craft, I'm loving it, but trying to get into the in-depth stuff at the moment so we can try and take down the King and Mobzilla very, very soon. Honestly, I feel like I could take down Mobzilla within the next three or four episodes, so that will be awesome if I can do that. But yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode. Bye guys!